the church that I go to is where Rochelle leads worship. Yeah. And about a month ago, three weeks ago, she said, does anybody want it in the church communication and go to this retreat with her? I thought, well, maybe I could go with her. I thought she might be driving. I thought maybe I could go with her. Cause when I thought, and then, no, she was flying. I go, I'm not flying. I don't know if I'm supposed to go. Anyway, um, the fast that our church was doing started the January 4th. So we did a 21-day fast. And I felt the Lord was having me extend that with a Daniel fast afterwards because I, you know, and so I'm studying this book by a man who wrote the book at the foothills of Blue Ridge Mountain. Wow. That's here. Yeah. Yeah. And when I was reading my devotional, this is just a couple days before I left. Because <laughs> Bruce said, well, if you can find someone to go with, maybe ride, you know, and go as long as you have someone to go with. And I thought, my devotional had alone, alone, alone in it. About seven, to, I don't know, I've not highlighted it and put the numbers on it. And then I read, go to the mountain and pray. And I thought, and then I reread it. It didn't say that. It said, Jesus went to the mountain and prayed. But I go, am I supposed to go to the mountain and pray? I, I, I'll go. And then, um, and then um, there was another part of a devotional that said, the, the prayer mountain, I thought, prayer mountain. I looked it up, and it's here. The, it's in this book. The guy wrote this at the foothills of this this, this this place, and it's fasting for spiritual breakthrough. Hey. Where's my friend? Hey. My friend here was up here. She's not here. She's pregnant. She talked about breakthrough the other day. She had a, you know, yeah, Crystal, yeah. our friends. Our, and so I'm like, I know I'm here, and I walked up to the mountain yesterday. I prayed on every one of those little markers went down as far as the markers went <laughs> there was a, a a big giant tree that was uprooted the roots were just le uprooted and things are uprooted in our lives hallelujah they're uprooted and we are going to put new roots down so anyway, so it was just awesome. Oh, wow. So anyway, thank you so much for having this retreat. Yes.